With less than a week to go until Election Day, election officials are working to debunk false claims, calling into question the integrity of the process and the results. It comes as former President Donald Trump and the Republican National Committee are suing some Democratic officials, alleging problems with the process. Scholar Henry looks at how election officials are trying to combat misinformation and show voters the upcoming election is legitimate. As we inch closer to Election Day, officials and lawmakers are working to ensure the integrity of the voting process. More confidence leads to greater participation, which is a good thing for our country. In dozens of previous cases, courts have found no evidence of widespread voter fraud. That includes claims about improper registration, non-citizens' participation, and the voting systems themselves. How is this process, I guess, safe, for a lack of a better word? Every election jurisdiction, um, every county in the country has very clear rules about how ballots are handled. Chris Mann with the Center for Election Innovation and Research says as early voting expands across the country, poll workers are able to focus on other potential issues. It does a lot to help them, uh, give them more time to deal with any problems, whether that's a power outage at a polling place misinformation about voting procedures. And that misinformation is, in part, leading to an uptick in threats and abuse to more than 10,000 local election officials nationwide, according to the Brennan Center for Justice. It really, I think, has come as a, a shock to a lot of local election officials, uh, especially, you know, in non-battleground states, these areas that they've become the focus of this kind of attention. Officials are stressing that people with questions about the process should go to vote.gov and get information about voting in their jurisdictions from legitimate sources before casting their ballot. Skyler Henry, CBS News, Washington. Now, the Secret Service is looking ahead as well. The head of the agency announced that on January 6, 2025, when lawmakers from the House and Senate count the state's electoral votes, there will be a dramatic security increase similar to an inauguration or a head of state visit.